Okay, this is the hardest combination permutation we're going to go over. And in here we have, in this problem, we have a septet, which is a group of seven players. And they're made up of four strings and three woodwinds. So that's a lot of players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, we're using the dash method here. We're going to put numbers in each of, this dash, each of these dashes, and those numbers are going to correspond, of course, to the problem. So what do we have? Well, again, we have four strings. This is the strings, string instruments right here. And then we have three wins. Now, instead of writing the numbers out here at the very beginning, there's a little bit of a twist to this problem. We have to do something. And so first, let's start off by putting in the information. We have seven players trying out for the string instruments. So seven times six times five times four. But now it's always the big question of the day when you're dealing with these problems. Are you dealing with combinations or permutations? So ask yourself, does the order matter? Is there a violinist, a cellist, or a second violinist, that this is the first violinist? And the answer is no. It's a general group called the strings group. Therefore, we are dealing with combinations. Now, what we do here if we're dealing with combinations, I'm going to write it out here because I got a little bit messy there with the violinist and cellist part. But we're going to write the numbers down here again. And we're going to divide, because it's combinations, by the number of dashes, one, two, three, four, factorial. Now, four factorial is something you should know off the top of your head. But of course, that takes a little bit of memorization. But four factorial is equal to 24. So what's six times four? Well, six times four is 24. And just like that, that number is out. And this number here at the bottom is out. And so therefore, we know that when we're doing the combinations for the string players, we get a number which is 35. So now, let's break this up. We're going to deal with the wins separately. However, had we put in the information here, seven possible win players, six possible, five possible, and just multiplied it at the very beginning, then we would get an answer that would be wrong. So we want to make sure to deal with each independently. That is, figure out how many for strings using combinations and then how many for wins. Same concept, divide by the number of dashes factorial. Three factorial is six. Just like that, we also get 35. And now, because you can think of this as one big dash with 35 in it, one big dash with 35 in it. You multiply those together. Now, before you do that, look at the answers. The answers here are, well, 35, which is A, which is clearly not right. It's much too low. But all of them are pretty low. Even 420 isn't that great, except for the very bottom one, 1,225. Now, you should know your basic square is 20 times 20 is 400. So you know when you're dealing with 35 times 35, you're dealing with a number much greater than 400. And there's only one, which is 1,225. So the answer has to be E.